My name is Hans Kandel, Extension Agronomist at NDSU. Over the last decade or so, we have seen that rainfall events have been more erratic and also heavier rainfall in certain uh, events like over two inches of rain. And many times when we get rainfall, excessive rainfall in the spring, it causes uh, overland flooding, it causes a ponding of uh, the fields and crops will die. Or in the mid-season period, we find that uh, excessive rain can uh, reduce the crop yield of uh, the various crops. Then in 2019, we had a very wet fall. In some cases, the farmers could not get into the fields because the fields were too wet. So one thing to kind of think about uh, managing excess water is to put in tile. Tile is putting in a pipe about three feet down into the ground and it has perf perforation. And if there is an outlet, you can design a system where the pipe will take the water out into a ditch and therefore reduce the amount of water and stress for the plants. I'm going to kind of demonstrate a little bit about the real function of tile and how it relates to soil moisture. So I have here a bucket and the bucket is representing the tile. And in the bucket I have a sponge and I am pushing the sponge under water. So if I put the sponge under water, basically all the air goes out of the sponge and the sponge is completely filled with water. In farming we call that saturation. All the pores in the soil are full. If we look at the sponge as being the soil, and I will just take the, the saturated soil above the tie line, and if we take the, the sponge above the tie line, we see that water is moving out of the sponge and air is moving into the sponge. The sponge is representing the soil. So basically we're talking about moving water out of the profile, moving air in and creating conditions that are ideal for the crops. We have a name for the situation as I have in my hand. It is called field capacity. What field capacity means is that all the water naturally drained out of the system. However, we do know that there is still water into the soil because we have what is called a water holding capacity. So each soil can hold water. Like I squeeze the, the water out of it, the plant is trying to utilize moisture to the point where it cannot extract more water out of the soil and that is called wilting point. So in agriculture, we want to have the water level in the soil between satur not saturation, field capacity and wilting point. And the closer we can get to field capacity, the more ideal the situation is for crop production. So we are not removing any water that can be utilized for the plant, but only that excess moisture that drains naturally by gravity into the tile pipe. So in the area that we have here, we have an area of about eight acres in our research site, where we have divided it up in eight parcels of about an acre each. And we have devised a system which is called a control box. This water control structure is able to manage the water in the field. And I will be kind of looking at this in a tabletop model. The tabletop is a small model. So here we have the pipe coming from the field side and the water goes into the pipe, into the structure, out of the structure, into the stream. In the center we have blocks. And if we put a block into the slot, there is one block here, and I put it in and we can see here that the water has to go up to the block area. It will go over the block and then it can go out. So the more blocks I put in, the higher the water table can be on the field side. But it is set so that if the water table gets higher than the block I set, the water goes over it and still goes out. We call this a water control structure because it gives the producer some 
a measure of control over the water table. However, we do need to have rainfall in the field side to fill up the water in the field. The second half of the season, when the crop is utilizing a lot of moisture, the water table tends to drop below the tile. So typically we are utilizing this control structure early in the season and late in the season. Early in the season, I open it so that the water can drain and we can plant. And then I put it uh, one or two blocks in order to conserve some moisture for the summer season. So the crops can utilize the moisture. At the end of the season, when we start to harvest and there is excess moisture, we open the box again so that the water leaves the field and we can actually harvest and drive on the field. This site is set up, as I mentioned, in eight different blocks. We do have tile under each replicated area. We have a tile line exactly under the plots. And if we just kind of look behind me, there are plots and in the middle of the plot is where the tile line is going all the way to the end of the field. The distance of uh, the tile lines is 25 feet in this particular trial. And the reason that we did that is to maximize the number of experimental plots in this field. Some of the benefits that you uh, experience with tile drainage is, is that we can get into the field early in the season. The second one, we can operate any time just after a big rain. The water can drain very fast and we can apply herbicides or fungicides very quickly after a heavy rain. Also, harvesting is not an issue. We can always get into this field. Behind me, you can see that we had spring wheat and now we have a cover crop growing on it. And I don't need to worry that I can't get into this field next year. The reason is because we can drain this water and by next season we can just move into this field very easily. This site has been in operation since about 2008. I have combined some of the data on soybeans for the last 20 experiments that I've been doing. And each time we do an experiment we find that the tile drains area yields a little bit higher. What about a dry year? Even in a dry year there is no negative effect of trial, there is a slight positive effect. But overall, over those 20 experiments, over many years, including years when it was completely dry and the tile never was running, we saw a 7% increase in yield. So the take home message is that if we can manage the water table, if we can adjust the water table at the critical stages of the crop production as well as the harvest, we can obtain a higher yield with less effort and less hassle. Many of the growers that I'm working with are telling me that the uh, ease of working in a tiled field is so much uh, more uh, enjoyable than getting stuck all the time. So in summary, in all our research we have conducted so far, we have seen when there are wet conditions that tile is out yielding the non-tile. In the dry year, there is not much difference between the two yields and that is because in the dry year the tile also doesn't run. So no negative effect in those dry years. The control boxes are there to manage the water table. So in order to find out if we actually have a difference in the water table level, we have some observation wells in the field that we have been monitoring for um, the past seasons. And we're also monitoring it on a, a seasonal basis after heavy rains. So what I'm doing is I'm going down with uh, the measurement till we hit the water and then we can measure where the water table is in, the, in this particular uh, field. So the, we get the beep and we know now that the water table uh, is this deep. This is typically at the end of the season where the water table is below the tile because the tile is only three feet deep. As you can see, the water is deeper than the three feet. Once we get rain, the water table can come up to about a foot below the surface. So it is very important that we are actually managing the water table. Mm -hmm.